Băi, n-am văzut așa, omul ăsta are un ego mai mare decât Cu tipul, numai el, el se iasă în evidență, el, eu, Richard, Richard. You just always looked a bit pregnant. Like nothing's changed because you pissed on a stick. Oh. Like what are you Salut internet, bine te-am găsit sau regăsit pe canalul meu de YouTube. Narativan aici, continuăm seria noastră de Super Sedus Rădoi, anume, învățăm marta seducției și misoginiei. Și am ajuns la capitolul 7. Wow! Comedy interlude. Leo has a big comedy gig. Can he make a good impression and win over the audience? Gol. Get rebooked for future gigs. Bă, nu prea este duc aici, aici e mai mult stand-up stand comedy simulator, dar hai să vedem. Let's go. Hey Richard, how's it going? It's Leo. Yeah, good man. Hey, do you remember? You're still coming to the comedy club tonight. Yeah, nice one. Hey, could you do me a favor and just make sure you don't bring Mahmoud? That's because uh, last time he was here, he got up on stage. It was an absolute disaster. I had big agents in to see me. He ended up getting more laughs than me when he got his ass out. Yeah, they signed Darius Davies instead. Hmm. Yeah, they probably do regret that now. Anyway, okay. man, cool. I'll see you later on. Cheerio, bye. Interessant. Deja avem o, o intrigă, un plot twist aici. Yeah. Asta e Richard, sigur. Ce intrare de James Bond și a făcut omul. Și de așa, respect for interest, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MGM Live Las Vegas. Sponsored by Diet Coke, Coca-Cola, Fanta Raid, and Heinz Soup. Bringing you the undisputed Comedy champion of the world, okay. weighing in at 289 pounds and 15 jokes and 28 laps per minute, world title. I want you to give a big Las Vegas round of applause to Mr. Leo Hello, my name's Leo. I'm from Scotland. Any Scottish people in? Yeah. Nice to see you out spending money. That's progress. <laughs> I love coming to this city. The food here is amazing because the food in Scotland is absolutely shite. Like one of the things we do is the deep fried pizza. I don't know if you've seen this thing. Basically, what we do is we get a shitty supermarket pizza. We put cooked chips on it. We oh, fold it in cool. half and seal it. So you've got a sort of chip calzone going on. Then we batter it and deep fry it. And do you know what it's served with? Chips. There's not even a sprig of parsley on this thing. Like, this is a nation just dedicated to self-abuse. Like, they're going to do a series of man versus food in Glasgow, but it's pretty obvious that food would have just fucking killed that guy. Hey everyone, we've got a special guest in the audience tonight. My friend Richard is here. Everybody say hello, Richard. Hey everyone, hey. hey Richard. And ladies, Richard's single. Richard, I'm going to try and find you a girlfriend tonight. All, all the single ladies, make some noise. Well, uh, bitch, in toate, Sorry, Richard, I, I in tried. toate situațiile, in toate capitolele. Băi, băi, n-am văzut așa. Omul ăsta are un ego mai mare decât... N-am văzut așa ceva. El tot timpul, numai el, el se iasă în evidență. El, eu, Richard, Richard, Joker, I did. 
Yeah. Facebook yeah. really annoys me though. Like my mates on Facebook, one of my mates does Tough Mudder. Do you have Tough Mudder here? It's like this sort of army obstacle course thing that they do at the weekends. And he does it, he just does it so he's got all the profile pictures. He's all covered in mud. He's all like, yeah, you had to crawl through mud. How to crawl through mud under barbed wire. You're barbed wire. It's like, it's not dangerous. If it was dangerous, they wouldn't let you do it, you fucking accountant. You're not in the army. You haven't been parachuted behind enemy lines in Syria to do this. You're doing it in Guildford, in a school car park. My other friend on Facebook, I've got two friends on Facebook, basically. Uh, my other friend, she just found out she's pregnant, so she's posted pictures of her baby bump. She's all like, check out my baby bump, I'm 12 weeks pregnant. But it's like, you're 12 weeks pregnant. That baby's the size of a grape. Like, you don't have a baby bump, you just always looked a bit pregnant. Like, nothing's changed because you pissed on a stick. Oh. It's like, what are your thighs pregnant as well? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my testicles. They're the weirdest part of the human body, all wrinkled up. Mine, mine look like Gordon Ramsay's forehead. Like if he was a werewolf. And, and they're constantly moving, constantly doing this weird slow dance, okay. just gently adjusting, like gently rolling over each other, adjusting for heat or optimal sperm production or something. Like have you ever sat and watched this? Like not mine. Like, have you ever, Richard, have you ever sat and watched your testicles? Yeah, they just keep moving. Yeah, yeah, this is a wise man who knows the pleasures of looking at, looking at your testicles. If you haven't seen this, go, go to the toilets after the show, have a look at your testicles. If you don't have testicles, don't worry, just follow Richard, he's going to give a demonstration. Yeah, <laughs> normal. So I had sex the other night, I mean, I say it was the other night, it was about four months ago, but the important thing is I had sex, like, I met up with this lassie. And by the way, I'm Scottish, so when I say lassie, I don't mean a crime-fighting dog. Like, this was a genuine woman. I, I know I'm from rural Scotland, I don't do any animal, it is just sheep. And maybe one day I'd like to have a go on a koala bear, but anyway, I met up with this lassie and she was smart, she was funny, she was beautiful. I was like, this girl's amazing. And then we went for some drinks, and then she says to me, should we go back to yours? And I was like, fucking brilliant, this is on! Then, then I wished I'd said it a little bit quieter. <laughs> like, it was totally on. You know when it's on, you pull out all the stops. I was pulling out all the stops. I even paid for an Uber back to mine. Like, you gotta pay for an Uber back in that situation. You cannot take a girl home on three night buses. Like, nothing dries up a vagina faster than three night buses home. Those night buses have got fans at knee height just blowing Saharan air up towards the vaginal area, just gumming it shut. Like, pay for the Uber. Best three pounds I've spent since I was in Aldi. But anyway, we've got, and I'm still pulling out the stops. I've got Luther Van Tross in the stereo, making it nice and sexy. I've lit a scented candle with a curtain billowing over it, because nothing turns a girl on more than the risk of a fragrant house fire. <laughs> like when she's in the bathroom, I've changed the duvet cover so it doesn't stick to your face. You know, I'm making an effort here. Like we're getting down to it, I'm trying to do my best. I'm trying to maintain a boner and not sweat in her mouth too much. And I thought, I'm going to try talking dirty. Turns out you can't talk dirty in this accent. It just sounds like somebody trying to buy a sausage roll. Then she started talking dirty back to me. She's all like, oh, harder, deeper, faster. I was like, harder, deeper, faster? That's the last thing I want to hear when I'm shagging. Like, faster, faster. I'm 40 years old. I'm only going as fast as I can. I feel like I'm going to have a stroke here. I want to tap out, bring Richard in, let him help finish the job. She's like, harder, harder. As if I've made a conscious decision to only let 60% of the blood into my boner. <laughs> I've had eight pints of beer. How hard do you think I can make this thing? She's like, deeper, deeper, as if I'm stopping an inch off. <laughs> like, I'm not holding back. That's the full length of my dick you're getting there. I'm absolutely certain I could not jam that thing in any further. Do you know what I mean? Like, they, like basically what she's telling me is I've got a tiny, insignificant, manky dick. And I don't know what I'm doing with it. Like, I, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear more reassuring stuff. I want to hear stuff like... Not so deep. <laughs> Not so hard. Oh, you're pulverizing my tonsils here, massive love trunching. I don't say the same sort of stuff back to women. I'm not there pumping away going like, be five years younger. <laughs> Could you lose a few pounds? Wetter. Huh? Wetter. As well. Wetter, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yet yeah, nothing's harder than trying to make women come. Like the female orgasm is the hardest thing to, to achieve in the world. Like my ex-girlfriend, we used to we used to be in bed. Like me coming, I'm 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 so quick. 
I'm so quick, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm precision engineered in Germany or something. I'm like the Google search engine. Like, yeah, I did have been 2.5 teaspoons of semen in 0 0.0016 seconds. Like, my ex-girlfriend would be lying in bed and she'd be like, she'd be like, make me come, give me an orgasm. Like, I've got no idea why she sounds like a Scottish man. But she like, make me come. And uh, it, was, it was like, it was like the internet download bar. Like, it's going to be 30 minutes, it's going to be 10 minutes, it's going to be 1 minute, it's going to be 30 seconds, it's going to be 5 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 seconds. It's going to be 30 minutes. Testicle on holiday, yeah. Yeah, we were all talking about Richard's testicles earlier. Like, at my age, my, my testicles are starting to sag. Like, it's crazy. This got me into trouble on holiday last year. I was in the south of France with my ex-girlfriend. Like, she wasn't my ex-girlfriend then. That would have been weird. But, but we're down on the beach, and she said, there's nobody about. Should we sunbathe naked? And I was like, yeah, brilliant. Let's do it. So I whip my shorts off. I'm lying there on the sun lounger, I'm on holiday, I'm warm, I'm relaxed. Like, unbeknownst to me, my testicles were also on holiday and warm and relaxed, and they softened and melted through the slats in the sun lounger. Like, like the Terminator melting through the prison bars. Like, like an octopus going through a maze. And, and I had no idea. I had no idea until my girlfriend wakes me up going, Leo, get your clothes on, there's people coming. I was like, what the fuck? Well, I reach over to grab my towel. The fucking sun lounger came with me. I'm lying there on the sand with this white plastic sun lounger pinned to my arse, just screaming in agony. I've got no idea what's going on. My girlfriend looks over and sees, sees my balls just quivering against the back of it, just quivering like a scared little hamster. And she just reaches over and thumbs them Perché through to the other side. Dai, è stato di buone, la noi in Romania. Hey, it's nice talking to you. Hope you all get home safe. Cheerio, bye. Yeah. Leo Kirst, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, I know he's a bit of a mingo, but he did all right. Leo Kirst, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Leo. Oh, you did pretty well. Not the best ending, but not the worst either. So, pretty good. Basically, room for improvement. Ce? Atât? Ce să vă zic, dragii mei, cam atât din capitolul 7, cel mai slab capitol ever și n-am înțeles absolut deloc situația asta, că e cam ireală, adică... Și opțiunile pe care le avea acolo nu aveau nici legătură cu realitatea. Aie, ce să vă zic, nu uitați să dați un like, share și subscribe lui Narativan, adică eu. Și ne vedem data viitoare, în următorul capitol din Super Seducer 2 sau Arta Misoginii. Până data viitoare, nu uitați, perfecțiunea nu există. La revedere!